okay students so in this video we will see achromatic combination of lenses and uh, in previous video we have seen same topic but when lenses are in contact with each other <coughs> this is part b when two thin lenses kept apart from uh, by distance d means there is some distance between both the lenses so how chromatic abrasion can be removed so in this case formula is a bit different so the focal length of the combination of two thin lenses part distance d is given by this is the equation which is for, for the lenses kept at a distance d from each other so 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon f1 plus 1 upon f2 minus d by f1 into f2 in the same manner we have to differentiate this equation differentiating the equation what we will get d of f is equal to minus d f1 by f1 square minus d f2 by f2 square minus d into here we will apply the formula uh, u into v differentiation of u into v that is differentiation of u uh, into v plus v into differentiation of u uh, so that is the very famous rule of differentiation so we finally get we will, we will get this equation why negative sign here and here because it is like differentiating 1 upon x so you will get minus 1 upon x squared so this is the form that's the formula we are using to differentiate this so now doing simple mathematics minus df1 by f1 square minus df2 by f2 square minus d into now when you will differentiate 1 upon f2 we will get df2 by f2 ka whole square f2 ka square minus in the same manner minus 1 upon f2 will come out and you will differentiate this one so you will get df1 by df1 square here so d of 1 upon f is equal to minus d let me remove all this marks okay so minus d f1 upon f1 square minus d f2 upon f2 square plus because this minus sign and this minus sign become plus and uh, you will get this equation so but what is d f1 upon f1 is equal to m again that is dispersive power same way dispersive power for second lens so substitute the value you will get this equation now we will go for next page so if we have to thin lenses of the same material so if lenses are made up of same material so omega that is dispersive power for first lens is equal to dispersive power for second lens that is dispersive power that is omega so by putting omega instead of omega 1 omega 2 we will get this equation so but for the combination of two achromatic now what is the this is the required equation and what is the uh, <coughs> sorry how we can remove chromatic abrasion this is the condition d of f 1 upon f is equal to 0 it means this equation must be equal to 0 so here it is written here that is this part this part this part so here we will get this equation now solve it is equal to 0 we are equating to 0 so this become by doing simple mathematical transfer we will get this equation so it means what when you will, you will solve it f1 plus f2 is equal to 2d that is d is equal to f1 by f2 that is hence distance between two thin lens should be d is equal to f1 by f2 that is mean of the focal length if the focal length of both the lenses are same then f1 is equal to f2 then we can write d is equal to f1 into f2 hence the combination to be achromatic the combination to be achromatic two lens must be of same material this is the condition and this is the derivation so i hope doubts are cleared and uh, this is the end of the video the, till this you have to do uh, most of the time they ask for eight marks so it is most expected question for this year so thank you so much for watching